So I'm Campbell, Vernage CEO. I'm going to be your MC tonight. This is the inaugural event. We set this up on the back of uh, the Oxford course. So and a big kudos to, to Olga, Linda and Alex who have done all the legwork in getting to this point. So big hands to them. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we've got, um, well, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Auric for looking after us today and supplying this a fantastic location, as well as lots of free beer and wine. So um, in order to kick things off, what I'd like to do, first of all, is introduce you to Yak from Auric, who's going to take you through uh, a little bit of what Auric does in this space. I can tell you that he is, he's got a strong background in the US, and he's been involved in, in dealing with litigation issues in the US. He is a litigator by training. How to not get sued in America. So... Um, without further ado, I'll introduce you to Yak from Warwick. Over to you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, welcome everyone, uh, and thanks so much to the London Blockchain Foundation. Thanks so much for coming. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm a litigator by training, was in the US before the tech litigation there, and um, I'll be now helping with some smaller issues in sort of uh, in the blockchain ICO space. Fortunately, you know, for clients, not that, many, not, not that much litigation yet. Um, so, briefly, I'll just talk about two things. One, uh, just what Auric does in the space. So I guess there's, you know, four pitches here, or, or the fifth one as well, that's us. And then uh, I'll talk about the one substantive issue about personal jurisdiction and how to avoid being dragged to US courts. So first, uh, Auric, you know, this is our London office. We're a global firm, over a thousand lawyers in the US, uh, Asia, Europe, Africa, over 150 years old, uh, you know, and basically we're focused in three areas, uh, technology, uh, finance and energy and infrastructure. So this is kind of where I think blockchain fits in very well as well, uh, where we have a practice group that's based, uh, you know, composed of lawyers all over the world in all, all the practice groups. So I'm a litigator, but I think we have many more of regulatory corporate people. And, and really the goal of, of sort of our sector focus is that we can help the companies at any stage. We work with companies at every stage with every legal issue. So that's our goal. Um, and in, so as a blockchain uh, company, we're uh, one of the founding members of the Global Legal Blockchain Consortium and also very active in the Wall Street uh, uh, Blockchain Alliance. Uh, but otherwise, we, we advise over 50 companies in this space, regulatory issues here in the U.S., other places. So we've, we've done a lot of the work. Now, just briefly on this office, I would say that the blockchain work here is, is kind of driven by our uh, technologist companies group, which is, I think, been voted one of the strongest in Europe. We do a lot of venture capital work. And, uh, and also we have uh, basically, who actually was supposed to be here, I think Jackie Hatfield is one of the partners there, is the lead of our uh, fintech practice. And she was supposed to speak here. She's a very well-known figure sort of in the UK and Europe regulatory space. And she's actually she's invited to a Oxford workshop actually working on the UK regulatory issues and the laws. So, so she was going to speak otherwise too, but so unfortunately, you know, I have to provide info. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll do a good job. Um, and, um, you know, also last point here. She, Illegal 500, this just came out last week, says she's extremely knowledgeable with a clear understanding of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. All right, that was the pitch. Thanks for staying with me.